district line, uh, episode 25. Uh, in this episode I uh, show you how I more or less completed the section I was working at, that's the, the reservoir and the bridge section, uh, how I finished it off. Um, it's taken me a couple of days to do it because as you all know you have to wait for bits to dry um, before you can move on to the next bit. It's still Still waiting for the water effects to completely dry out so I can um, dry paint over it but it's more or less as I want it. Um, I've also um, been working on the uh, the upriser um, and doing a bit of ballasting uh, and but there yeah, I've got there I've got there finished that little section for now I'm quite happy for that I can now continue the, the mine rail further on uh, but then I've got to come back now to uh, do this bit here, uh, which will be the next uh, main section. is going to be a biggie uh, because I need to create a monk in there. So uh, any suggestions you've got for how to do it, what's the best way to do it, what I need to be able to do, I need to be able to take this bit away so I can get in and hand underneath and clean the track and there'll be a farm, a what farm on top of that with a uh, farm with the cattle and the fields and things on top there um, so I need to be able to get at that top one this incline and the ones underneath so it's going to be something that's got to be lifted off completely in one bit put to one side going to need to clean it and then draw it back in um, but that's uh, for future episodes but until then I uh, hope you enjoy the video uh, I hope you, you uh, enjoy what I've done please any comments you've got please leave them at the end uh, I'm more than happy to take any advice uh, anything that's positive or negative I'm quite happy um, but I yeah, hope you enjoy what I've done and uh, for now keep safe do you well okay so I've added the uh, water effects into the reservoir uh, making that waterfall a bit more realistic a bit more movement on the water I've painted the base of the tracks down here ready for ballasting um, and I'll crack on with that in a minute um, I've also added some effects to the rock, uh, just some changing the colour a bit. I've just got to highlight, uh, put some grass onto there, and I've painted the first bit of the rise. And again, I'm going to ballast that all the way up to there. So that's where I am at the moment. Uh, I've also put a bit of uh, scenics down the bottom end. I'll show you that another time. Uh, once I get this done. And get the balance done and glued I can get the bridge in place and this section will be finished then I can move on to um, doing the rest of the ballasting and getting this uh, fiddle yard sorted out <laughs> Thank you. 
so now I've got time to uh, get these walls glued on. So I'm just going to drop a bit of glue down on here. Last night I made a load of these up. So I'm just going to position that in. I think I want that around about there. And that will then give me the barrier for which I can then um, ballast against. Uh, I've made up a lot of these um, little pillars and scrap card and a bit of Metcalf. I'm just going to get these on and see what it looks like. bit I've just glued down there uh, you'll see uh, it just there's a little gap between there because I need to slide a piece of wall in there so I've just left that there and then I'll put, finish that off with a, another pillar but looking good um, yeah I'm quite happy with that uh, Especially the little corner bit, that was a bit hard. I don't know if I should put posts there, I don't think so. I think it should be okay. And then by the time I got the capping stones on there, uh, that'll look quite good. So now I'm just going to put some more bushes, a bit more, finish bits more, little bits off there, uh, put the capping stones on, and then that should give me that full effect I wanted to. You can see that the the scenic water is starting to go off on that corner especially so before I put actually put the bridge in I don't have to wait for that to dry it takes ages to dry in the shed because it's uh, when I turn the heating off obviously the temperature drops um, so I'm just waiting for that to go off and I can finish that off then I can put the bridge in place so now I'm just going to add a bit of a few extra pieces to this bit <laughs> So now that's starting to look a little bit more authentic with the ballast down. I can't do anything about the stretch points, but um, it is what it is. Um, yeah, coming all the way down to the tunnel entrance there. So what I'll do, I'll just show you the image of the the bridge in place, so you can see what the effect is. I'll just grab it now and put it in. Should fit snugly onto there and down and down and down. And uh, yeah, so you can see that's the view the passengers will get. Not the view of the tins, but yeah. And you can see this bit here now where it's. Uh, That's looking quite good. I'll just lower the camera angle. Perhaps we can see a better angle from down here. But, yeah, quite, I'm very happy with that. I'm very pleased. Looking good. So I'll just lift off that the bridge there again. That's going to be covered with a bit of uh, 
wall, a bit of plywood with some wall on it. Uh, and then I've got the rail to add on there. And uh, this job's finished. Captain Stone's next. So we're getting another view. This is the track lining a crossover, coming up to the side there and onto the tunnel and through into the main mountain. Three more additions onto that. Get the bridge in place once that glue has dried completely. Uh, the water effects and get the wall in place there. And then the next job is to create the sides of the mountain. Um, there'll be a road running underneath that coming down. And I've started on this side now, so I'm starting to create what will be the, t the, the, the face of the mountain with the two tunnels there. Um, and then I've just got to create a bit of a, a structure over here so I can uh, wrap around. And I want to need something that's going to have to come on and off so I can get to the tracks for cleaning purposes. And then I've got to um, build a bridge. So that's sort of roughly what I wanted there, so that uh, the road service road can come over the bridge and down, follow and go through underneath there. And then the big job, which I'm, <laughs> I don't know, putting off because I'm not looking forward to doing it, is to get the point motors installed on all of this and get them wired up. Um, yeah, that's going to be a long time doing. Um, very, very... Not, well, yeah, hesitant, I suppose. Never done it before. But anyway, that's the end of that. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, uh, one thing I'm looking for is to cover that wall with some sort of IV. So if you've got a suggestion how I can do that, uh, and if you've got any more suggestions of how I can improve this bit, or even, better still, how I can create that mount in there. Um, I want a farm on top, so it needs to be flat. And then drop it straight down to a little... Um, industrial area uh, and let me know in the comments below I'd be more than grateful to receive any any help any suggestions whatsoever thank you very much and uh, dear welcome